Day seven, about to enter the twilight zone. I'm following Andrea's family down to the sea mounts where I hope to observe them hunting. Arena has been testing our samples and is worried about a harmful algal bloom being somewhere nearby. So I am to keep an eye out for that. Check. I'm also keeping an eye out for more turtles. I know they're out there, ready to dive. I'm in and okay. And we're streaming. Hello everyone, welcome, or welcome back. I'm diving near a sea mount region, also known as the Twilight Zone, because it is just beyond reach of the sun. And we'll be taking some questions live, so be nice. We'll also be testing a playback system to interact with whales. Want to hear something cool? So do I. I'm hoping that buoy can send a little message to our humpback friends. That's right. Andre is going to serenade some humpbacks. <laughs> well, not me, but using a song I generated from other recordings. Okay, time to see if any humpbacks respond to our song. Jordan wants to know how you will know. Great question. If we have recorded him before, we'll see if the influence of our song affected his. Scientists believe whales from one region can influence the song of whales from another when they mix. Hey, Andre, we've recorded a song from this one before, right? We have. How quickly can you compare his two songs? Well, I need to wait for his song to complete at least one full cycle. And how long is that? Mm, 20 minutes, maybe more. Wow, that's a long, slow ballad. Another leatherback turtle, Andre. And feasting on some moon jellies. That is odd. Is that the same one we saw before? Hmm. It looks bigger, but let me zoom scan it to be sure. We can run the sample in the lab, but I am sure this is a different one. Do they typically travel together? Wouldn't it be surprising to find two this far off course? Yes, it would be. And yet, here they are. Welcome back, turtles. Enjoy your beautiful moon jellies. Moon jellies are beautiful. There's a decent chance this jelly will regenerate itself. Do tell. In fact, a few species of jellyfish are technically immortal. 
they can revert from being full grown to their younger state and essentially start their life cycle over. Thank you, Arena, who will make us all immortal one day. Dana Squid. It looks like they're hunting... Lanternfish. Well called, Arena. We'll make you a sea witch yet. I'm sorry, a, a what? Let's scan a few to pick up their hunting behavior. Here goes. Denver wants to know if they eat each other. Some do. I think this one was upset he missed out on his prey. Just activated your UV light. First of all, don't mess with my suit when I'm diving. Secondly, you spoiled my surprise. Swell sharks have developed biofluorescence to communicate with each other. Their eyes have special adaptations for the UV light. 
Now you can see what a swell shark sees. That's what I'm talking about. Next, you can try the black light I installed in your sub. You did not. You did install it in your dorm room back in the day. Your wife showed me pictures. Well, uni was a good time. What am I looking for here? Oh, one of our sperm whale tags must have fallen off. Andre, you really need better glue for these. I don't use glue. I've tracked down the tag. It's in a cave. I wonder how it got in here. Other than getting inked in front of a live global audience? You know, you might want to get that off you. It will probably attract predators. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay, last boy of the dive. How are you feeling? Chances of suit holding out until the end of the dive? Good. Hope of seeing if our humpback song had any effect? Well... You know this, but for the viewers, science is not magic, it takes patience. I'd like to believe in a little magic. Sperm whale. I think it's... Yes, it's hunting! First time we'll be able to document it with Andre's technology.
Come on, come on. And then the buzz. I got it. Raj from Mumbai wants to know, what's the buzz? I think he was making a joke. Got it. But what is the buzz? How is it used? We're not entirely sure, but definitely associated with being close to prey. This is just a warm-up. The real fun will come in the deep. Andre, Andre. Well, there's no way these little ones are thousands of miles off course. Right, Andre? Give him a minute. Right, let's scan a few of these to get their gender. There's a tiny tag here. Andre? from Shanghai wants to know why you care about their gender. Well, their sex is determined by the temperature of their nests. Warming beaches wiped out the turtles in this region. Believe in a little magic now, Andre? I may just start, but let me check on that tag first. spot for our first deep dive. Mirai, check out that one closest to you. What's that on its skin? Not sure I can catch them. They're headed to the surface. It might just be a scrape from a ship strike. Yeah, let's hope that's all it is. Let's end it here. I know it seems like Andre worries about everything. But I really understand where that comes from. Everyone's seen the pictures, but 
I can tell you it was really tough to be doing hands-on work when we were losing entire species. For me, it was the whales. But for Andre, it was the turtles. I stayed to help him. Several of the other scientists did as well. By then, only Andre's protected nests were the ones producing turtles in the region. And we all figured that the population was going to collapse, and eventually it did. But seeing this large man spend day after day carrying tiny turtles from the nest to the water, it inspired us to stay. I mean, coming back now, it feels like another world. Andre is not an angry man, Arena. He's just a man who gets angry when he sees people say it's too hard or that they don't care at all. Yeah.